Chronify can help you schedule faster and more efficient from your own ATS system, in this case, smart recruiters. No more emailing back and forth around availabilities or playing calendar Tetris or looking manually at calendars as everything will be calculated automatically on the back end based on whoever's availability you need. So let's say we have Tara Johnson and we want to schedule an interview with her. Her resume review was positive and you now want to move her to the recruiter screen or the screening call. So usually what you would do is go to interviews. However, in this case, you directly go to communications to send the email to the candidates. What we'll create with the Chronify extension in your browser is a scheduling link that you can email directly to the candidate for them to um, schedule their interview. So you might have some templates set up um, and then all you need to do is add the link for the candidates. So what's good to know is that there's two different ways of starting to schedule. And the way is similar, either if you do it for yourself or you schedule on behalf of someone else. Um, option one is to start from a recent request. So let's say you've already scheduled similar interviews in the past days or with uh, in the past time, then you can select one of those previous uh, ones that you've scheduled to make it easy as it will pre-fill all the information and details that you already added for the other interview you scheduled. So then you just need to click and you'll have the link to send to the candidates. Um, for the purpose of showing you what creating a request looks like, we'll now start a create to create a request from scratch. So as you can see here, the candidate information is already automatically pulled in here. So we know that we have Tara Johnson um, and that's going to be the primary attendee, uh, the candidate in this case. So either if you schedule for yourself or if you schedule for someone else. So for example, on behalf of a hiring manager, the process is the same. Um, the main things that you will see here are the event details. These are set based on your standard settings. Now, in this case, we'll do, uh, we'll see it's a 30 minute screening call. And then the second choice to make is how do you want to provide availability to this candidate? So either if you're scheduling for yourself with screening interview or you're scheduling a one-on-one -on -one with the hiring manager, there's three different options to go about. So the first option is to work with working hours. In this way, we will automatically look at the actual calendar and see which slots are available in there. You can see here that you can select what date range you want to provide also. So if you want an interview to take place faster, you probably want to select a seven day period in which it can take place. If you want to give the candidates um, more time, for example, for a um, hiring manager interview that needs to be prepared, you can select the next 14 days. Now we'll just leave it at this for the moment. Um, the second option is custom hours. So it can also happen that either yourself or the hiring manager have specific times allocated in your calendar for interviews. So let's say you have Friday afternoons and let's say Wednesday mornings that you or whoever you're scheduling for want to keep free for um, interviews, then you can also select these specific slots. And what we'll do is we'll look at the available times within these selected slots. So it will look at when you're free within these ranges. Um, what's also an option if you know that, um, let's say you're scheduling for a hiring manager, you see that there are some blocks in the agenda on Wednesday afternoon, but you've actually uh, agreed that Wednesday afternoon was uh, blocked for interviews, then you can also overwrite availability. So you select whether I'm busy or not, and you can do the same for someone else. The only ones that will remain here are other interviews that are scheduled with Chronify, um, as those you cannot overwrite. So uh, the last option that you have is work with specific slots. So if you have a case where you have very uh, precise times or moments that you want to give to a candidate, you can do so here. So let's say we want to do September 14th and we want to give them, uh, now we want to start at 8.45. You can add as many slots as needed. And again, select to either look at available times during these slots in the calendar of whoever you're planning 
or to override it. So both are still an option here. Now, for now let's take the working hours in the next 14 days. You can see that the available slots uh, then are, of course, the highest and create an invite link. This link you can copy, you paste it in the email to the candidate, after which they will receive this booking form where they can select the time that works for them. So in this case, let's say they select the 21st or let's do the 18th at 9.30, they confirm. And once it's confirmed, both the interviewer and the candidate will receive a invitation in the calendar and in the email that the interview is scheduled. So that's done automatically. And once the candidate has selected a slot and the interview is planned, you will also see it feeding back into smart recruiters and you can find the interview here um, and see when it's actually taking place. So that's scheduling for either yourself or for someone else um, with Chronify in your own ATS system.